friends, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and this weekend we decided to tear the bathroom out. So, uh, my bathroom's really small and there's a ladder in here, so forgive the filming, and I'm going to echo because there's nothing in here. Tore out the medicine cabinet. I have never been so glad to see the ugliest thing hanging in my house gone. But anyhow, we have spackled the walls because they need it. We are going to prime and repaint the ceiling. The walls will be painted in a beautiful gray color that I purchased from Home Depot. And I got a new shower rod that um, is like a double shower rod that goes in and it kind of bubbles out so that you can have two separate uh, liners. Like you can have the liner that goes in for the shower, but you can have the pretty one separated from it. And if you need to change out or clean, it makes it so much easier. So that is that. And then uh, the toilet's gonna stay the same, but I probably will get a new toilet seat. And then the sink is going. I got a brand new sink. It's beautiful, cannot wait. I hope it works. <laughs> I hope it fits. I think it did. I think it will, but we're gonna keep the cabinetry because I love uh, the paint job on my cabinet since I have redone that. So we're going to tear this out and put in um, a new sink top. I will eventually get new faucets. However, I ran short on money and I'm gonna have to uh, purchase those um, in a month or so. So um, that is gonna get replaced, but I know that the sink that I have will work with the faucet that I have for the time being. It's not what I've chosen to do or want to do, but money-wise, that's as far as I can extend out because I paid extra for the ginormous medicine cabinet that is really, really gorgeous that's gonna go right here. And then we tore out the towel bar that was over here that um, you know you hang your ha hand towels on because the medicine cabinet is wider this way out and it's bigger this way. So the towel bar would actually get in the way of it and felt like it would look kind of wonky and wouldn't look right. So it wouldn't be like symmetrical or in any way. So got rid of the towel bar. But I think what's going to happen is I have a piece of art that I'm working on for this wall here. And the walls are gonna be gray. And then I got a piece of art that my mom helped me put together that's like a deer head. And it's like on a rustic wood backing. And I still have to pay the paint the deer head. I think I'm gonna paint it a um, really light color gray that's gonna be lighter than what the walls are. And that's gonna be the piece of art. The shower curtain that I bought has sort of like birchwood trees on it. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of in the uh, gray nature as well. And then over here, we had a picture hung and we are not going to hang that ugly thing back up. I never want to see that picture again. Never. <laughs> so what might happen is, is we may put an actual towel bar here and just hang some decorative towels here or get another piece of art for this wall that goes across from the toilet. And then of course we have the toilet paper holder and then a new trash can, which is gray. And that is that. And then this is where all of our towels hang in behind the door. And that'll go back there because we utilize that and use that all the time. So that is what's going on with the bathroom. And I will keep you guys updated on everything. And I'm anxious to get it done because it's gonna look so good. Okay guys, it is Monday. I'm doing a bathroom update uh, for you guys. Kinda let you guys know what, <laughs> what it looks like. So we got the first, well we painted the ceiling. And that looks really nice and white for the first time ever. Um, got some touching up still to do because this ceiling was really bad, but it looks better. That's all that counts. But uh, we are going with this really pretty gray color for the bathroom. I don't know if the light is really doing it justice. It's very pretty. Um, I wanted to lighten things up in here because we've had it chocolate brown for so long and it was really pretty and I liked it. But this being such a small bathroom, it needed lightened up a bit. 
and uh, I think I'm I think I'm really gonna like it when it's all completed and done um, and we get the new sink in and all that kind of stuff but today was uh, sealing and uh, you know covering the walls really well and we're gonna let this sit and we'll work on it again tomorrow but anyhow that is that and I'm having to share a bathroom with my teenage boys they're not even teenagers and I say that all the time one of them is a teenager um, but I hate sharing a bathroom with a bunch of boys so when I get this done I will be so so happy so so happy so I like it and we left the places to hang um, our towel holder back up and a picture here I've got a picture I'm working on it um, I'm painting it actually and yeah so that is it but I'm really happy with the color tell me what you guys think down below what, what you think about the color um, but I, I think it's all going to look really, really well whenever we get everything in and the shower curtain hung. It's all going to go together really pretty. I'm getting excited, guys. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the bathroom. Monday. Um, we worked on the bathroom throughout the entire weekend. We are not done. We are so close, though. We are so close, but we are not done. But I wanted to come in uh, this video and show you how far we have gotten and the last things that need to be done. So, we do have to do a little bit more of in some install work underneath the sink. But this is my new sink that I purchased. And of course, I kept the cabinetry the same, but I opted for a newer sink and I just love it. It's, um, you know, more modern and I like it. Um, also got new fixtures, which I think are pretty fantastic. I love that look, it's so pretty and elegant and then we have hello guys <laughs> we have the new uh, medicine cabinet and I love it too um, I spent a little more than I really wanted to spend on cabinetry and stuff like that but I did did what I need to do um, this cabinet here I think was like $179 at Home Depot but I'm very happy with it the sink was almost $300 and um, I don't know how much the faucet was uh, the person that put the sink in actually purchased that so I don't know but um, we did get all the walls painted in this gray color we also painted the door which is behind me here it looks really nice and clean um, we still have to hang our hooks here and then I have new decor which you'll probably see in my weekly vlog that um, I'm going to be painting this week and putting together for in this bathroom we have a new toilet seat so don't fear that paint and stuff got all over the toilet seat in here that's all going to be gone it's going to be gone gone we got a new um, shower curtain that hangs and it's kind of the bowed one that has the double sides so that your liner goes on the first side and then your decorative uh, curtain goes on the outside and that'll look really nice and clean um, I want to scrub that and soak it in bleach and make sure that's all nice and clean and wipe down this tub and get in there and really clean it down because we had we had to um, what I want to say sand the walls for evenness because obviously when we pulled the old sink out we had to um, you know sand the walls and make it all even around so that the sink looked nice and clean in here um, and that was a lot of work and a lot of dust and everything else I mean you can see it in my hallway here just dust <laughs> all over the floor um, all of the light switches including the actual socket itself has been totally redone and re redone I don't even know what you call it but it's it's been replaced these are all new this is new um, so those look nice and we are going to keep the lighting and I know you probably can't see it let me see if you can I don't think you can see it with the light out there we go no not really okay so sorry about blinding you 
but uh, we may uh, replace the lighting in here eventually but that it's gonna be very similar to that one if I replace it it'll just be a different color or I may actually just take the plate off of this one and just paint it this brown color so it all kind of goes together and blends I think it'll look really pretty um yeah so that's what we got going on we've already redid the floor in here last year just needs a good clean and that is pretty much it um i am considering uh replacing the shower head but it's not on the top of the list we did paint the ceiling up here so it's all nice and clean but we do have a little bit of touch-up work yet to do which is fine i don't know anybody I cannot paint a ceiling and a wall perfect, but it will look fine when I get done touching it up. It will look good. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this little uh, random check-in, but that is what is going on in here. I'm very excited about the new sink. Um, it looks so much cleaner um, and I wanted to tell you this guys when we first got into this house we had giant mirror that fit flat against the wall here and one evening we heard this ginormous crash and what had happened was is that mirror had fell off the wall this way it had literally cracked the sink and put a hole in the wall behind me because the door was shut if there had been a child in here it may have killed them because that mirror had busted everywhere now the odd thing is is a couple days later the mirror in the other bathroom fell off the wall too and i had my hot roller sitting on the sink and it caught it before it could actually hit anything. But still, if a child was in there or somebody was sitting on the toilet, I'm just saying, these bathrooms are small. That mirror was bigger than this medicine cabinet. And you know, when it hit, it just busted everywhere and put holes in everything and, and even ruined the uh, vanity, which was horrible. Um, so I'm, I can't believe it's taking me this long, but we actually got a new vanity, uh, you know, a new sink put in, which looks so nice and so clean and I love it. But um, they told me that the mirrors fell off the house because the house actually settled from being built. So I just wanted to tell you moms and dads, make sure that your mirrors are secure because that that scared me to death. I went around the house making sure everything was secure after that point um, because I didn't want anything to happen to the kids. So if you buy a new house, you know, keep in mind, check the mirrors. Anyways, I'm loving my new medicine cabinet and I like the lighting in here and everything. So, yep, like it. Very happy. What do you guys think so far? This is you know, continual thing. And I will complete this video with um, showing you guys, uh, you know, how everything looks. And I'm really excited. I love the gray, guys. I'm so thrilled with the gray. I didn't want it overly feminine because obviously I share a house with a bunch of guys, but I didn't want it too, too masculine. And I wanted it to look um, a little more modern. And I think that um, we've achieved that. So I'm very happy with it. Hello friends, it is Sunday late afternoon and I wanted to share with you guys the new bathroom. So uh, we did a lot of work in here and I am so happy with it and I probably should have ironed a shower curtain but that's okay. I'm not worrying about that. Uh, I'm a mom and I'm busy and I just don't have time to iron shower curtains. <laughs> Um, okay, so everything is done in here except for the wall decor because I am not finished with that. But you guys will see that in my um, weekly vlog probably next week. Um, I'll give you a more in-depth look at that. So, um, yeah, so let me uh, show you guys the new bathroom. So, this is the new sink. Um, it was not an easy task to get it in and it was a little bit pricey um, but I wanted a little bit more modern look uh, for one thing I think I said in the previous videoing of the bathroom as we were doing it um, we had a mirror fall off and it cracked the vanity and it was just like a big nightmare um, so uh, having a new fresh uh, sink is awesome. We also opted for this really cool um, 
fought it, which I thought was neat. I haven't really seen a lot of these faucets, but I thought that was really cool. Um, actually got that uh, clearance at some warehouse or something and uh, found that. Uh, new soap dispenser. I am burning the buttered rum um, candle from Michaels. Absolutely love Michaels candles. They run awesome, awesome sales on their candles and I find that they are just as good as Bath and Body Works. I'm not a big fan of Bath and Body Works, sorry guys, but I love the Michaels candles. And this is the new medicine cabinet that we had put in which I am absolutely in love with and not so much in love with the way that I'm dressed right now in front of this mirror. I actually have a Christmas Harley Davidson sweatshirt on. <laughs> I'm freezing to death. But as you can see, I haven't quite got this completely organized, but we have a lot of room and the shelves are adjustable on the inside. So, you know, I made it go up higher so that I could put my giant thing of mouthwash that I use in here, which I love um, when the stuff that I use all the time is accessibly easily, I guess is the word. So it's easy to access all of the things that I use from day to day. And I like the fact that it has this little side panel here. So if I just need to grab my deodorant, it's, it's right there. And um, I don't have to open up the whole cabinet. It kind of splits it a bit, but I love this. I love the color of it. We kept the original lighting, which I'm not sure how well that's filming because it's so bright. We kept the original cabinet, but we did the distress painted look. Now that was already done um, a while back as well as the new flooring. So we have a new rug, new garbage can, and of course new paint color, which I absolutely love. It comes from Home Depot. This is a home and garden shower curtain. Um, and I liked it because I was trying to go feminine slash mas masculine in here because I obviously have three sons. Um, and this has sort of like a birchwood tree effect on it. And I thought that was really pretty. Plus it's sort of silvery. I don't know if that's coming off on camera, but it's kind of shimmery. But I felt like it was, it was my taste without being extremely girly. And that's what I liked. Um, new toilet seat. Uh, in here the to the commodes actually relatively brand new but got a new toilet seat and then if you share a house with three boys you will know that a toilet seat is as genuinely wonderful as a diamond ring but anyway <laughs> new toilet seat um, I also wanted to show you guys the shower curtain this is one of the new double shower curtains so that if I just want to change out the liner, I do not have to take the decorative curtain down to, or if I just want to take the decorative curtain down to wash, I don't have to fumble with both. Plus this also gives some added room inside the shower. When you're showering, the shower curtain isn't like right up on you. So I love this. I got this from Home Depot. I have to say that it was a little bit pricier than I really wanted to spend, but well worth it. Totally and well worth it. Um, there are my new shower clips. They're like little diamond things. That's kind of like a little touch of feminine. And then there's one of my clips over here is messed up. There we go. That's better. And so yeah, so that is the new bathroom. And I hope you all enjoyed. We repainted the entire ceiling as well as the vents above my head. And um, I just love it. I love the color. I picked the shower curtain out when I was in West Virginia on my trip. Um, and I spent three weeks there. And I thought, oh, I love that shower curtain. So I went ahead and purchased it. It came from a store called Ollie's. So if you guys are in Pennsylvania, you guys might know what I'm talking about. Um, so anyways, we got the, uh, I got the shower curtain and it was really, really cheap. I think it was like $2.99 or something like that, but it was actually, um, the Better Homes and Garden brand. 
And so, yeah, so that is my new bathroom. And in my weekly vlog, you guys will see my new um, decor that'll go on the walls here and here. And now you're hearing my dog bark. But anyhow, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Do you like my new shower curtain? Do you like my new medicine cabinet? What you think about my sink? And do you buy Michael's candles? So you guys can let me know and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye guys!